Hey everyone, it's Ellen from Rhapsody Music Lessons, and I am working out of the Piano for Busy Teens, book one. This is a challenging book, um, and I just started working on Fast Track Boogie with one of my students. So this is played in a racing style. The tempo's really up there. That is not how I'm going to play it right now. This is for the purposes of teaching and showing my students and anyone else who's starting this song how to play it. There are a lot of repeat patterns, okay, in this song or sequences they're often referred to. Um, a fast track boogie is getting you into um, the blues, boogie woogie blues. It's, it's a really fun, neat way to play. It's also... Um, it's somewhat difficult, you know, so on your, these books are set up so that when you learn a piece, it's divided into sections. Each section equals a week, what you'd work on during that week. It also provides you with a warm up, and these warm ups you're going to see at the beginning of each piece and every piece is different. They're not all boogie woogie. Some are more classical based. Um, there's many different styles in here. Now, this exercise right here is excellent to do when you go to play the song. It warms your hands up with actual parts of the song. These two are for your right hand in treble clef. These bottom ones are bass lines you play with your left hand. So I'm going to give this a go. And again, I'm not playing it in a racing fashion. Um, my recommendation is you look at pages four and five. You do the warm up prior to doing this and while you're learning it follow that week by week layout um, so that week one you just basically you're learning lines one through three because you're going up to measure 11 and so on but this is the whole song right here you've got you start with a d and a g in your left and a b in your right there is an f sharp in this piece too and there are other flats and sharps thrown into this song so you really need to pay attention and a crossover like right here Watch your fingering on these, okay? Slide in to reach your B flat. Hold. This next chord you're going to hold. Pattern. Sharp your F. Okay. Two flats here. F sharp still. Now it's going to sound a lot like the beginning because it is. chords are just like what you played here but an octave higher Oops, sorry 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 slide in for your b flat come up to your b flat f sharp c right here your ending you've got the same chords 
but you want to accentuate them. Hold them for two beats. Now you're going to play all G's, but you're way down here and you're way up here. And you're... and this fermata is above each one. So they're going to be accentuated. Boom. And that's it. So I hope that helps. Next time I play it, I'll go all the way through. I will pick up the tempo so that you can hear what it sounds like at full tempo. Maybe not quite full, um, but faster. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Bye-bye.